Hello, friends. I'm School Monkey, and welcome back to Let's Play the Cave. Today, I'm joined by Dyslexiactic. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, if you remember last time, we finished the island, and now we're going back to the souvenir store with Carl. Well, you took long enough. I was gonna send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? That doesn't matter. We just got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. So, take this giant novelty size key, again, and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Alright. For real, it's not a gift shop unless they have spider rings. <laughs> We close at five, so uh, you might want to get a move on it. This is kind of a weird gift shop. Like, couldn't I just buy that? Haven't I suffered enough? Can't. Where can I buy my novelty keys? That's right. Well, if we want those objects of desire, we'd better go do this. Um. So we've ended up back at the gift shop, um, but things are slightly different this time around, which you may have have noticed. Um, I am going to show this section again, but there are no puzzles this time for a pretty interesting reason. Is it because the game's finally given up on my aptitude? No. It oh. was expecting it. But look, see there. What? They like packed it up. They're packing up. <laughs> you said they moving. close at five, so. <laughs> They're moving on to the cave too. See ya right. in 2015. <laughs> So, it makes it nice that you don't actually have to do the puzzles again. And this is pretty different. This used to be like a waterfall. Now we're in Mordor. Yep. Nobody asked for this crossover. Oh, hey, look who it is! <laughs> My gold! So you're collecting another set of trinkets, but yep. it's going to be a people we actually interacted with this time? That's right! Oh, well, that's the, neat. you've seen what the trinkets actually are. They're the objects of desire. Oh, yeah. That looks like it's from, like, a Halo game. <laughs> Shiny. Future. What's the... Who else is there? You mean the third person? Oh, is it the guy from the... Oh, no, it is! <laughs> Look at him, though. He's got his... No, you can't take legs. Spanky. <laughs> Mine now. I kicked him into my arms. <laughs> Is that guy, like, half turtle? He's, like, stuck know. on his I back think... now. <laughs> I think he's just real happy. He's just rolling around with his puppy, you know? He's just rolling on ecstasy. Mm -hmm. This is the dark side of the cave. Yeah. Oh, I know where this goes. This is going to go right by those vending machines. It is. It? Ah. it sure is. So, all we have to do is bring this, um dog you know this trinket his name's not even trinket his name is spanky maybe it's spanky trinket spanky the trinket spanky <laughs> trinket is my stage name that might be his breed of dog you know all the <laughs> designer dog breeds a He's trinket a... would be like a, a shih tzu and a i don't know some kind of terrier it's a cross yeah i'll never understand dogs <laughs> do we just want to you're like stealth and Stealth returning that. What a fabulous replacement trinket. Oh, that will do just fine. Hey, it's not stealing if they didn't see you take it. Am I right? You earned it. I sure did earn it. Let's go. All right, let's play the entire game again. All right. Wait. We're leaving. We've got our object of desire. Oh, it's the employee of the month statue? Yeah, it is. So we get to, um, they don't make us climb all the way out, but they give us sort of a cinematic, um, follow. And in just a few seconds, we shall see the conclusion of the Time Traveler's story. Oh, you take, um, one through one, or one at a time? Yeah. Oh. Look at that monkey! That was kind of what I was expecting when she was holding the knife. Oh! Yeah. Who knew oh. that fog was so important to everything? And this is how we wrote Fallout 3. <laughs> it's all because of Fog. Oh, you've outdone yourself on this one. I don't think its rightful owner will miss it much. Here you go. 
What is her? Oh, bag of money. Yeah, big old bag of money. I'm curious as to how hers ends a lot because it's just a story of her launching a missile. Hers, hers really is actually my favorite. It's the best. Um, her ending is one of the reasons why she's my favorite. <laughs> Will Oppenheimer. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Is it getting hot in this hot tub? This is how they wrote Fallout 3, <laughs> the way I played it. <laughs> All right. Splendid. That will look nice on the shelf. Taking the thing someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. Enjoy. All right. Hey, um, was that sign there before? The no returns, no exception? Talk to him again. You want to return the thing you desire most? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, I was going to say, can you actually do that? Oh my god, you are racked with indecision. Should we ask him again? You really should think about keeping that. It came at great cost. Um, maybe we should go before I change my mind. I'm starting to feel that I've missed a lot of the end game. <laughs> Just watching the other things you could do. Oh man. Oh, I'm really excited about this too, because this is another one where it seems like a very linear story. Oh yeah. The time travel had a big twist, but then the scientist didn't at all. <laughs> I kicked a dra oh what no, not the old man. <laughs> wow, okay. Look at that kid. <laughs> A horrible future. Yep. Well, you might think of this evening as a failure, but it was not. True, our friends did not learn the lessons they were meant to. They are destined to choose a path that can lead only to misery and disappointment. Not to mention a few lawsuits and possibly an embarrassing reality TV show. But I know you will leave here tonight with a new perspective on the choices to come. Someday, you yourself shall explore my mysterious depths. And when we meet again on that journey, I am confident you will make the right decisions. Because I am the cave. And at this point, the credits roll. I've cut that out into its own video. So the rest of this video is going to be um, me starting to take our next group through. These guys don't have a team name yet, um, but it's going to be the Knight, the Hillbilly, and the Twins. Hmm. The Knight. He is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power and prestige. But will he find it before anyone else gets hurt? The Hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love. But does desire burn too brightly in his heart? Ah. Moving along. The twins, they just want to go outside and play. What could be more innocent than that? All right, um, this is going to be sort of liberally edited because this is almost exactly the same as the first time we saw this. Yeah, absolutely. But I'll probably be sort of using the twins a little heavily at first because some of their animations are actually really funny. Seriously, though, George Sakai, if I had a nickel for every time I told <laughs> someone they were about to experience or explore my mysterious depths. <laughs> Need to make the right decisions. <laughs> this is me using the knight's power to sort of slow down his fall so people can see more easily what's going on in the background. Yeah, his power feels the most contrived in terms of actually using it. Like, I guess I never realized I guess you could use it to prevent fall damage. But that never seems... It's actually what, when it's most useful. <laughs> yeah, it just never seems, like, crucial to solve anything. Um, you see that there's a crowbar there, and it's because I left the other crowbar up above that fall. Hmm. And here, this is just an example of the twins' puzzle solving, where they can leave a shadow of themselves to complete an activity. So you don't need to bring a third person in. It's quite handy. I love their symbol. So this is uh, the first story of the cute kids. They're not that cute. Hey man, beauty <laughs> is in the eye of the beholder. So here's another cute animation from them. Yeah, I love all of the twins' animations. And the beginning of the knight's story. 
Oh man, look at his face. <laughs> That's like a disturbingly different level of detail than everything else in that picture. Maybe you're supposed to pay extra attention to it. And we got a little little hillbilly. Hillbilly is bar none my favorite story mm -hmm. by Miles. Oh, that's smart, too. Yeah. Screw that running away from explosions stuff. Ready to get the first treasure? I was born... Hey! Oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know this at all! Sacko cash. This is what happens when you only play the game once. You just don't ever see this part. I... Oh, man. I thought I at least started a new game. I probably did. I probably just did not catch on to this at all. You probably just went, oh, these puzzles again, and turned Yeah. Out. Uh, yeah. I don't want to collect the guitar again. Well, we're not collecting the guitar again. I'm excited. I, want to, I like the backdrops of everybody. <laughs> He's way too evil to die with such like a zen pose. Maybe he was in a lot of pain. Yeah, maybe he just pulled his groin and couldn't get out of it, and since he has no <laughs> friends, he was stuck like that until he died. Yeah. Oh, is this a good time for a cave joke? Uh... Yes. Uh, did you hear that they found Beethoven dead in a cave and he was erasing all of his symphonies? Uh, no. The local archaeologist said it's the first time he's famous for decomposing. Oh, that's pretty terrible. Thank you, I'll be here all episode. <laughs> what does that have to do with the cave? He was in a cave, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know a lot of jokes in the first place. Okay. I thought the answer was going to be, yeah, I heard it twice because of, like, an echo. Yep. Looks like you fixed the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that is any better, actually, so... <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's really cool, though. I had no idea that they actually, if you play through again... Yep. Oh, I guess that's the end. <laughs> bye. There, use that bye. <laughs>